the Cotter trial was a trial that looked at women who had recurrent ovarian cancer who were heavily pretreated, three to four lines of treatment prior, who um, uh, who were HRD positive specifically, irrespective of their genomic BRCA status. Um, and the majority of patients in this study, uh, over 70% were either platinum refractory or platinum resistant, um, and the response rate to single-agent niraparib was 28%. So that sig- that's a significant response rate in that heavily pretreated population. Currently, uh, prior to Quadra, patients who were BRCA positive could be treated with a PARP inhibitor, specifically olaparib or recarparib, uh, recarparib as a third-line agent and olaparib as a fourth-line agent, but these patients had to be BRCA positive. So Quadra is practice changing. These are patients who are platinum refractory, who are not BRCA positive, who had a significant response rate um, in spite of that, um, the majority of patients being platinum resistant and heavily pretreated. Currently in my clinical practice, I now can offer patients who are BRCA negative PARP inhibitor treatment. Um, prior to Quadra, patients who are BRCA positive could receive PARP inhibitor treatment as treatment, um, specifically third and fourth line, and specifically recarparib or olaparib. Patients who are BRCA negative really primarily saw PARP inhibitor treatment uh, in a recurrent setting after platinum treatment. Um, So now, though, they can see um, PARP inhibitor uh, treatment as treatment, and uh, even if they are heavily pretreated, third, fourth line, um, it doesn't actually matter. The FDA currently has approved uh, niraparib monotherapy in patients who uh, have recurrent ovarian cancer, platinum-sensitive or platinum-resistant, BRCA-negative, but specifically are HRD positive. Um, and that was the primary objective in Quadra. The inclusion was HRD positive patients specifically. Um, the response rates were in patients who were HRD positive or HRD negative, but uh, currently the FDA has approved patients who are HRD positive. Patients that I would select for niraparib monotherapy would be patients who um, are BRCA negative, um, and I know their HRD status, and particularly if they're HRD positive, who are either platinum resistant or platinum sensitive um, in a recurrent setting. Patients who are heavily pretreated obviously uh, eventually become platinum resistant, and response rates to all the treatments are much lower, and sometimes less than you know 15%. So the response rates are quite low. So in Quadra, the response rate was 28%. Um, and these are in patients who are heavily pretreated, majority platinum resistant, platinum refractory. And so um, that's, a, that's really um, a huge win for patients with ovarian cancer.